Hello and welcome to our Feedback Friday for Key Stage 1. As always, it has been an absolute pleasure looking through all of your work and seeing what amazing jobs you are doing at home. Come on then, let's have a look. What have we got on today? Right, so I've not had as much work in this week as normal, but what I have had in is absolutely amazing. So well done and thank you to those who have sent some work in. Um, the first thing that I've got to show you is a little message from Kirsty because um, she sent the work in a little bit too late to make the, the newsletter, but I know she's missing you all loads and she just wanted to say how much she was missing you and she's really looking forward to being able to see you in school again soon. So that's just a little message from Kirsty. Oh, hi Kirsty. <laughs> <laughs> Now, the first thing I've got to show you is some of the examples of the artwork that I've had sent in from the Squash and the Squeeze cartoons. And you've been doing absolutely amazingly. I can't believe how good they look. Um, I've just been blown away by them. They're gorgeous. They really are. And I love even the expression on the little old lady's face. She really does look worried. She does. <laughs> it's great. Okay, um, I've also had lots of maths work in. Um, I don't know if you can see the one just underneath um, all of our faces, but you've, it seems like people have been absolutely loving having the Power Maths books back. And I've been getting some absolutely fantastic work come in and some great feedback from parents as well about how well you've all been doing. So I just want to say a huge well done because like I said in my clips, the power maths, the mastery approach isn't easy and it does require you to really think about what you're doing. And I can see that the, the children who have sent me the work back have been doing that and it's just absolutely amazing. So well done guys. And I've also had a lot of reading comprehension work back this time. Um, and one that I've been really impressed with, um, this child here was relatively new to the school and didn't speak very good English, but they haven't let that hold them back. They've kept going. And it's quite a hard text to read if you don't understand English as well as somebody who was perhaps born here. But they've done so well and they've done some really, really good work. So I just wanted to say well done to Abdullah because that's just absolutely fabulous. Wow. And then finally, I've got some writing work, Mr. Kick, from your uh, Swash and a Squeeze retelling of the story. And again, they've been doing really, really well with the text maps and making the story their own. And I just think this whole setup, they're really loving and doing amazingly well. And again, just a little shout out to Abdullah because he's really had a go at, at doing it and he's done absolutely amazingly. So well done. Yeah. Right, so I'll move on to Olive class now. And I just wanted to say a really big well done because I've had back this week and last week so much talk for writing, Miss Holly. We've had lots and lots back. And I think children are really enjoying our new story of a squash and a squeeze. Definitely. So I've chosen a few examples here just to, to share with you. So the first one is a little boy in my class and he's decided to do it slightly differently. So he's drawn his pictures first and then underneath each picture, he's then drawn the sentence that goes alongside it. And he said that was a really good way to help him remember the story. Uh, we've got Yusuf's work here and he's been working really hard throughout the whole time, sending me each week all the parts of the story. Isa here has worked incredibly hard on her handwriting. So I wanted to say a really big well done to Isa. I can see she's got lots of um, detail in there. She's remembered her finger spaces and her letters are brilliant this week. So well done. Got some really good punctuation too, Miss Butler. She has, she has. You remembered all of her question marks um, and all of her full stops. So well done, Isa. We've got Zoya's story here as well. And she decided to change her animal characters to a pony and a dog. And I've got another child at the top. And this child sent me through this is their snail and a whale story from the last week, but they sent through the whole of their story in one go. So I had a really nice time reading oh. the full story of the snail and the whale. So a big well done for all that writing. And then on this page, we've got lots of the um, story maps that I just wanted to share with everybody. So lots of different ways of doing it again. Um, 
So we've got, I think it's a cat and a dog on this one, a sheep and a horse. This story here, Celine, this is from her snail and the whale story. And I really liked this sentence. So she decided to change a little bit more of her story at the end. So she said that the frog and the dog decided to share some donuts together in the sun. If I was in the story, that's something that I would do. So I really that's enjoyed funny. that. And then a lovely picture. I don't know if you can see Stephanie here because I think her face is like that. But she's using her story map there to write her story. So I wanted to pop that on there too. And then again, just like you, Miss Rachel, we've had lots and lots of power maths back the last couple of weeks. I think the children are really enjoying using the, the textbooks. Um, and I've had lots of positive feedback from children and parents saying that they're really enjoying watching the videos and it's really helping them to understand the different strategies that they can use. So a few examples here from our power maths. And then some theme from the last week of term. So we had um, Celine here who was writing to the snail um, using some of the geographical vocabulary that we looked at. So she said you should go because you'll see beautiful clear blue seas, you'll see erupting volcanoes and fiery um, lava. So some great vocabulary there. And one of the snails that we didn't show from the last week of half term. And then Mr. Cook, this is somebody from your class here. Uh, I've not put their name on there, but they sent me through all of the work they did for the geography last half term. And it was just so lovely that somebody from a different class has sent through all their, all their work that they'd been doing. And again, fantastic vocabulary, talking about tropical flowers and volcanoes erupting. So lots of places that I would like to visit as well. So well done to that child. And then we've got some more work here from this half term. So this is Sabrina and she has made her tree here out of some of the materials in her house. So I think she has used a toilet roll. Yeah, she decided, <laughs> she decided to use um, some lovely green fabric that she had to make all the leaves on her tree as well. Excellent. Um, and here she is as well with her um, hen origami from Monday. And this is Rosie here who was watching her make her hen origami when she was making it in her garden. So that's Rosie. Um, a picture here that Zoya's done here from our artwork, Miss Rachel. And again, I really like the expression of the old lady in the, in the story. I can see that she's very worried thinking about all the animals and how they're going to fit into her house. And finally, some pasta that a little girl in my class made. So she made her own pasta sauce there to go with oh. um, pasta. And lots of nice cheese on the top as well, so it looked mm. yummy. <laughs> and finally, this isn't something that we set, but this was a bit of extra work that somebody in my class did. So they wanted to do a science experiment. And they said they didn't have um, any pots or soil in their house. So they decided to have a go at planting some seeds in some tea bags. Yeah. So they're going to see what happens and they're going to update me each week to see what happens with their seeds. So well wow. done to that as well. And that's everyone from Olive this week. Well done. Well done. Okay, so I'm up next. Um, so I wanted to say, uh, like everyone else has said, big well done um, to Mango class this week. Um, I've not had quite as much work as normal, um, but again, like you were saying, um, Miss Rachel, the work I've had has been brilliant. Um, and I'm really impressed with how people have sort of creatively taken the things that we've been doing and made it their own and found ways to do it. So um, big well done to everyone. I wanted to start off uh, by a bit of an apology that uh, this was something I was sent but never made it into the newsletter and I was mortified when I found out that I'd forgotten it. Um, but this is Hannah and um, I just love this. She was telling me about, she was really excited about uh, watching the SpaceX, SpaceX rocket um, and they camped out in the garden on the trampoline which I just thought looked so fun. Um, so just thank you to Hannah for sending that in. Um, just wanted to give a chance for uh, everyone to see that. Um, had some great DT and artwork this week, and um, this was before half term as well. So um, Susu up here has done another um, really colourful um, picture, which I just love the colours that she's been using. Um, I've had some really uh, great origami uh, hens and fish, and um, I just wanted to um, share this piece of DT work because I thought it was absolutely fantastic, um, the way that they've brought everything together and made a whole scene out of all of the things that they've been creating. Um, and gone well above and beyond what I had in mind. So that's fantastic, um, that piece of work there. 
I like how the whale's coming out of the sea there as well. Yeah, it's brilliant, isn't it? I like, they've really used that, um, that spring mechanism to a really good effect there. Um, so yeah, that's great. Uh, next up, um, just a bit of uh, English, science um, and phonics stuff. I uh, wanted to say uh, well done to uh, Hassan um, over on the left here. Um, this is some of his um, grammar work and some of his phonics. Hassan has been working really, really hard um, on loads of different things, um, but he's um, been sneakily doing some phase six phonics as well as the phase five phonics that um, he's been doing as well. So I just thought that was worth um, sharing because he's doing a brilliant job there. Um, and uh, yeah, again, over on the right here, we've got, um, who is it? Oh, I can't say. I can't say who it is, but it's brilliant work. Um, <laughs> And uh, yeah, just some more of the, uh, I think this is the reading comprehension work. Um, I was just really impressed how this person was exploring the vocabulary. Um, thought they'd done a really good job there. And lastly, I haven't got loads of power maths to show, um, but I have had lots of people saying that they've been doing the power maths, asking questions, problem solving, um, when they've run into kind of the trickier bits. So I wanted to say a big well done to everyone. Um, and again, actually, just a shout out to Hassan up here who's been who's been really working hard um, he's been doing loads of stuff this week and I just thought that was worth celebrating so that's it from me for this week well done mango class Right, and finally we've got palm class, whoop whoop, we're doing so, so well. Um, I've had a mixture of, of things back this week, so I've just chosen a few of them to share today. Um, again, Miss Butler, loads of our talk for writing, um, and it's really great that people who do have printers are able to access the tools we're sending them, the attachments, but those who don't, it doesn't let them stop them and they have a go themselves. So really, really proud of that. And I think the top one's Olivia's, and she's changed it to a unicorn and an all which I thought was just brilliant. <laughs> and she also sent me a um, video of her re-saying it. And I've had a few videos back this week. And it, oh, honestly, it makes me so happy seeing them. And they've all really grown in confidence and are really, really understanding the maps, even though we're not there with them. So you can tell they're doing lots of really hard work at home. So I was really proud of that. So well done to the children, but also the adults, because again, without you, we couldn't do all of this. Um, and I've got some more here as well. Um, and the, the writing, um, I had, the writing of this child so the mum emailed me at the beginning of lockdown I was asking about spellings and you know what do we pick up and I just explained you know which bits we're looking for in year one and she's really just let her go for it and have a go and I can tell each week that it's not something she's copying that her mum's written for her she's really having a go she's really sounding it out and her mum's really supporting her with the confidence so I thought that was definitely worth celebrating this week. Um, and then we've got some phonics and some science. Really enjoying your science, Miss Butler. I have quite a few bits back from your science sessions. Um, and again, like the phonics. And I'm really impressed because phonics can get quite samey. And I just think they're doing so well, making sure they're coming back every week. So we're doing two a week. And, um, and the whole point of phonics is the fact that it's the same and we know where we're going with it, but it can get a little bit... <laughs> so just really proud of everyone still coming back, still doing the work. And actually, when you send us your writing, we can really see your phonics in your writing. Um, so it's just merging together beautifully. Beautiful yeah. handwriting there as well. Sorry? Really nice handwriting there as yeah, well. Yeah, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, lots of chickens back, Mr. Cook. <laughs> they really, really, really enjoy your origami. Definitely going to have to keep going with that one. <laughs> um, and I've had some toilet rolls back as well. <laughs> so um, Alicia's so creative. So I, I know at home she'll be loving doing all of these different creations with you. Um, lots of drawing, Miss um, Rachel just again gorgeous and they all are oh, and you can tell like I said before it's not again it's not the parents doing it it's the children doing it and they're really getting so much better their pencil control and really looking carefully so just well done to everybody um oh this was before half term but I thought this was really nice I think Miss Nabila set this one didn't she Miss Rachel yeah so um just just gorgeous really really beautifully coloured in because sometimes Zoe can really rush at school so I think it was really lovely that she spent 
really a lot of time on that because there's some really really small different shapes in that snail so really well done um, and I've also had things back that aren't related to work that I love so um, Yaran's painting he's helping mum out at home doing some painting and Olivia that tooth looks like it's gonna fall out if you do a big sneeze <laughs> so um, I'm sure the tooth of will be coming to you very very soon and last of all, we've had a few birthdays. So um, Farida's birthday was last week. Um, and I know that um, there's someone in the class who's very excited they've got their birthday this weekend. I can't say your name, but you know obviously who you are. So I hope you have a really lovely birthday. You should all be so proud of yourself. It was amazing looking through it all. Well done. Now we have one more thing to celebrate this week. Hmm, I wonder what that is. Woohoo! We have... 100 subscribers yay hi mr cock bye miss ollie bye miss rachel bye miss butler Right, are we attempting goodbyes? Yes. yes. <laughs> Wave down and Josh waves up. I love how you're writing this down. <laughs> I take every, otherwise I'll panic and I'll just panic, <laughs> Which is what happened on the first week, so that's fine. Yeah, so we do it. Right, left and right as well. We okay, just so have, have I got to do the opposite of what I can yeah, see? You just do both. Bye, Mr. Cook. Bye. 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 Bye, Mr. Cook. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> it was you. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Cook. Bye, Miss Holly. Bye, Miss Rachel. Kate, you're going up. Oh, <laughs> going up. Why you should write it down? <laughs> I need to write it. <laughs> yeah. Bye, Miss Cook. <laughs> Bye, Miss Holly. <laughs> I'm joking. Are we all ready? <laughs> Yeah. Bye, Mr. Cook. Bye, Miss Ollie. Bye, Miss Rachel. Bye, Miss Butler.